Carl, please. Hey, I, I guess for both of you guys, and we talked to Musk before the game, he was a little bit leery about the potential of a hangover from Maui. Uh, did you guys sense that at all in the beginning of this game? And then how important was it to not only win the game, but to kind of finish it the way you did with that big spurt? Um, Definitely a little, a little, we were asleep at the beginning. Um, they played a zone, which we haven't seen that much this year, and it was aggressive too. And we weren't attacking. We were just throwing it side to side, throwing up shots. But luckily, this guy right here was rebounding, putting in that helped us stay in the game early. Yeah, I mean, we it was a little little bit of a jet lag. Um, that was anticipated. Um, Coach already knew. Uh, we just had to stick with it. Um, and we came out in the second, second half strong. Ricky, just just curious with you, obviously you really got it going there down the stretch of the game. Was there a point in time where you decided, you know, hey, I, I need to take over, be more assertive as a scorer? I mean, not necessarily. I just wanted to get downhill because I was shooting too many threes. And I remember, I think the last three I took before I hit the actually hit one, the coach was like, rack the ball, rack the ball. So I was like, all right, I'm just about to start driving. And if they step up, I'm going to dish it. If not, I'm finishing. That just lets me get going. Did you talk about that? Three pointer that you did make it was pretty deep. But did you did it feel good right out after you let it go? No, nah, I felt great. I actually got to do a lot of that last year. Um, I kind of cut that out of my game this year. Coach wanted me to just focus more on catch and shoots, not off the dribble. But so I'm used to it. I've done it before. Um, and we needed it because it was like three seconds left. So it felt great. Now, did you kind of know early on if you're going to need to step up scoring the ball, or did it just kind of come to you, or how did that go? Uh, it just kind of came to me. Um, being I was in the right spot at the right time. Um, Coach has, has been emphasizing he needs more out of the bigs, um, fires like block, blocking shots and everything on the defensive end. Um, so I just did my job tonight. Yeah, Makai, just looking at the numbers to 14 and 9, I guess just what what was working or going right for you? And then are you a little bit irritated that you didn't grab that last rebound? Oh, yeah, I thought I had that one because I think we came out in the second half. I went to the, the uh, free throw line, made two free throws. And I think TB got a lob, which I thought came off the glass. And I thought I had it. I was like, ah. And, but throughout the whole second half, it was like two or three people on me. So it made it a little harder. Um, I, def I definitely am. I, I wish I had a double-double. Um, and just being in the right spots, you know, um, long rebounds, long shots. Just been in, been in the paint. Did you learn anything about your game in Maui that maybe you brought into tonight that helped with your production? Um, to just just do what I do best. Um, you know, just being an all around player, um, defending uh, out on the perimeter, switching out, um, blocking shots, and just, and just letting the rest come to me. Ricky, it almost feels like kind of having you can flip the switch on the second half. Is that something that you feel that you have, or does it just happen when you're just on the line? I mean, I just kept attacking the rim and it was coming to me, honestly. Um, only thing I was worried about was them taking charges. They took a lot of charges on this. So I was just reading the defense and, and finishing at a high rate tonight. And then for both of you, it felt like, you know, there were a little bit of sloppy play in there in the first half, two turnover deficits. What was the message from Coach Muscle and some of you guys to the offense coming to um, but coach knew what type of team we was um, up against. Um, he knew they was going to be slapping down and um, being being aggressive. Um, so he just told us like meet and greet the ball, um, catch it and pivot and do the little things and stuff like that. You know, Troy's up 58, 55 by eight to play. You know, they've already won a Florida State. It's looking like, you know, they might be able to pull an upset and, and then you guys went on a seven. 17 0 run, Ricky, you, you had 11 of those. But what did you guys think of that run? I mean, 17 0 when they played so well and then you just really let, laid it on them? I mean, I feel like we was dead most of the game besides Kai. Um, so our defense started picking up. We started getting stops and we started scoring on our end. And that just kept, we we seen it before. That's what we do when our defense get going. We start scoring and making runs. And that's definitely what helped us um, get past them. And honestly, when they called timeout, and I thought we was up after that little run, and we was only up four. And I'm like, yeah, we got to keep going. We got to keep pushing. So, yeah, they're a really good team. Credited to them. Yeah, Makai, what did you think of that 17 hour? Uh, I liked it. Um, I like how we came out strong. Um, we was more focused. Coach got on us in uh, um, halftime uh, and told us wake up, and we responded. What you guys think of, I mean, not you. What, 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 Makai, what did you think What Ricky? He had a 13, I think, of your last uh, 19 points. That's what was expected from Ricky. Ricky, that dunk at the end, Ooh. kind of an explanation point. I mean, I, I know you're a pretty good dunker anyway, but how'd that feel? And you say, I mean, you just took it all the way. 
don't worry about eight eight o'clock. You were just going to the basket, you know. Um, honestly, I thought it was going to be harder than that because there was all pressure. There was pressure on us all game, but I got past my dude a little bit, and I knew he had to play both. So I was like, I'm just going to take off, see what happens. And I know obviously Nick didn't play a lot, but he did get in in the first half for I think six minutes. What would, what was it like having him back, and kind of what are you guys expecting? Is there going to be an adjustment period to to get used to him being with you on the court? I don't think so. I mean, yes, he hasn't played the first couple of regular season games, but we play with him all in Spain, play with him in practice every day. So it's nothing new. He's going to be back. It's his first game that's expected. So yeah, he, he's going he's going to be fine. Getting his rhythm back. Getting his rhythm back. What was that? How good was it to have him back? Oh, it was definitely good to have him back. Um, obviously another score, another playmaker on the ball. Um, you know, just just he, he was just getting in his groove, trying to. He he'll get it. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate how the crowd um got up for him. Yeah. That was really special. So yeah, he he was gonna be fine for sure. Along the same lines, did you feel like there was some jitters from Nick in his time out there? Do you think maybe getting his toes wet tonight will help him moving forward? I don't think it was any jitters. He's a really good player. Obviously, y'all know he's no one player in the country at one point. So this is his first game back. I mean, what was I doing the first game? I mean, well, before that. So, you know, yeah. it's everybody. I was just telling him, and ain't nobody in here going to believe me, but when I was driving on the way up here, I was like, yo, this is going to be Makai's game. Like, I promise y'all. Because I knew how the guard was gonna pressure us and I knew he was I just knew he was gonna have a big game. Like I really caught it. I wish I would have texted it, posted it or something so y'all could be like, oh, but no, I really expected it. And I'm really happy that he actually showed it tonight. It was really big for him. Did you tell him? I didn't. I wish I would have told him, wish I would have posted it somewhere. <laughs> that would have been crazy. But yeah, Appreciate really big that. night for him. I'm proud of him. Appreciate that, Ray. Yeah. yeah. What what was it that made you feel he was gonna have a big game? I just know, like, after watching film, the guards were, like, really a lot of pressure. The coach didn't really emphasize anything for the bigs. He's a really good player. So I knew that it was going to be a weak spot for them. So I knew if, if the guards weren't um, doing well, then it was going to be up to him. And he carried us in the first half, for sure. That's right. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it.